Hey guys, today I got some grapple work still left to be done and some chainsaw work to be done. So come on and I'll show you what I got going on. So guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in here, guys, here at Project Next, we are all about uh, doing knocking out one project at a time and learning things as we go. And I like to share all those tips and tidbits uh, with you guys. So please consider smacking that subscribe and uh, liking and sharing with your friends so you'll be sure not to miss uh, the videos that, that we're putting out. I try to do two a week and so I'd love for you to be able to come along on the journey here with Project Next. Well guys, I know that I have done quite a few videos on um, cleanup after the ice storm with all the damage that happened with downed trees, but we just had a bunch down. Uh, I had another set of trees uh, that I need to work on today. They're up near the entranceway of my driveway. And the reason I haven't fooled with them until now is because it's been so muddy and the trees actually fell down into the creek bottom. So anyway, I want to work on it's dried up enough and I want to get those out today. So anyway, we're going to be grabbing the grapple, grabbing the chainsaw and getting up there and knocking this out. So you know me guys, let's get busy. Well guys, this last tree I picked up was one down in the bottom and it's the biggest of the three. And even though my tractor would pick it up, I'll swing the camera around and show you. Uh, this thing is so big that there was no way I could carry it to the backfield all in one piece. There was no way I could get it through the trees and over the rails on the bridge. So anyway, I just set it back down, went and grabbed the chainsaw and stuff. And uh, I'm gonna pick it back up now. We'll cut this thing down into some manageable pieces. And then we will, uh, get it all carried over on the backfield, get it cut up so cut up smaller even more to throw it on the burn pile so we can get it burned up. So anyway, let's get going.
Well guys, there you have it. Uh, another afternoon, just knocking out a little project. Um, just curious, wanted to ask you guys all something. Uh, for me, uh, when I've had a long day on the job, a lot of driving, when I get home, when I'm lucky enough to get home and um, I've got an hour or so left of daylight like the case was today, I just love getting out on the tractor when I'm out here working. I'm not thinking about anything with the job and it really helps de-stress me. I'm curious, what do you guys do to de-stress? Do y'all get on lawnmower, tractor, just working out in the yard, lawn care, landscaping, gardening work? Uh, I'd love to hear how you guys de-stress. Anyway, in today's times, as busy and fast paced as everything is, we definitely need to do stuff like that. So uh, I'd be curious, throw it down in the comments for me. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, let me swing the camera around real quick. So this was a huge area. I've still got to do some cleanup, but obviously put a massive dent in today. These were a set of three trees that were here that fell and they went down in the creek bottom. So it's nice to get all this picked up and out of the way. And I'll uh, get up here, work with the pulverizer and finish grooming it. So uh, it'll look good uh, as spring grass comes in. So anyway, guys, That'll finish up for me today. You know here at Project Next, there's always one more. So uh, there'll be another project coming again real soon. Thanks for watching right now. You guys have a great week upcoming. And man, stay safe out there. And guys, we will talk at you later. Take care. See ya.